<laughs> you familiar at all with steampunk? Not quite sure what that is. I'll be honest, when I first heard we were doing a steampunk tiny house for this episode, not only did I have no idea what that meant, but I was a little nervous about it. I didn't know if it would be too kitschy. So this is kind of my idea oh. of steampunk. If we could find a way to incorporate that into the house, it would be so cool. Zach's big issue with steampunk was he didn't want to just build something that didn't have a function. Really? You've not heard of a splitzler valve? It looks like something that I would see in a radiant floor system. Well, I'm just making this up. This is nothing. So this is not a specific thing with a specific name? No, no, but I think it should be called a splitzler. I still laugh about the splitzler valve, or the cluster, as, as Carl called it. This is going to be functioning? You betcha. <laughs> I love it. Cold water, hot water. If you want a shower, you close this valve. They got it to work. I mean, it was so neat with all the little the gauges and the knobs, and it, and it totally worked. I'm so impressed. Pretty cool. So this is my idea of steampunk. It's industrial, mm -hmm. but it's also kind of whimsical and playful. Whether they know it or not, privacy is going to be a big issue for them. So that was the idea of the louvers keeping it nice and open so you can see through the space, but at the same time, give you the ability to close it down. Give it a little turns. It was steampunk, and so I built this big metal contraption to do something that literally could be done with one finger. I think it turned out really good. I think we took something that's science fiction subculture, and we made it pretty cool. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Ooh. You know what Zach does really well? Detail. I mean, he is a hard worker. He finishes it to the very end. I mean, he, he, just, he never cuts corners. That's why he's so good. 